Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of the Gamers Radio and today I'll be showing you a website that I have been uh, working on it's called OTS.com in my previous uh, on the update on the uh, web construction I'm still building on certain parts of the website I still need to work on the footer some of the links may not work at the footer as you can see there's some changes I've added a uh, new name column a new name field to fill in along with uh, the emails, the emails has already been there but I just uh, just add a new name, you know, just test it out some of the list that you can see when drop down is, is the list that I, that I type when I try to test out the function this, when you enter the name and the email, it will be captured in the news uh, letter for Magento I'm using a Magento software so today, as you can see, this is my website I'll just a uh, little bit browse through, browse through the website for you the general function, this is a slider and uh, on the bottom, the slider on top. So this is the home page. Very sexy home page. You can click the home page. Uh, you will reload over here. If you click the icon, you will go back to the home page. So the icon will be home page itself. So this is a, uh, and then there's a drop down. I can add a drop down. I'll be adding more drop downs in the future when I build on more web pages. And uh, this will be the FAQ. I think FAQ will be one of the most important thing. I'll try to lengthen the FAQ and uh, try to improve on the FAQ system okay so we have a few pages I can show you let's just uh, randomly go through a few things uh, just show you the website for a while this is a blog I have embedded the whole of the WordPress into the blog okay um, before I show you guys uh, how to actually uh, do this I'll just show you some of the web pages that I made and uh, as you can see this is the um, the feature page to feature all the feature books that was to be featured to sell the, the star titles and uh, this is my book that I have written so I'll be featuring this book and a uh, video will auto run so let's go to the next one because it's quite oh noisy if I just went to the feature it will be quite noisy and this is the ebooks the bookshelf so all the the bookshelf that you, you can buy will be over here in the ebook sections and there's a free ebooks over here when you click on the free ebooks you'll, you'll come to a page where you can download this ebook for free and of course you can just click on the add to cart first and then when you check out you need to register an account the account will be free as well so this uh so the ebook will be free in total and uh, this is the our affiliate page if you become a, our affiliate partner you earn 25 percent commission if you help us to sell our selected books simply contact us for more details and if you go to the contact function let's just click on the contact function okay you can fill in this contact form the contact will automatically email to my emails and I will be able to receive but the newsletter will be go to the system at the Magento it will be different um, so we are capturing the newsletter okay so this is the poll do you agree a porno novel is stimulating hell yes I come while reading agree the words tickle my balls neutral words can make me sweat disagree I can be horny while reading hell no I have been a bookworm for eternity so this is something like uh, maybe a, a joke uh, poll that I have uh, selected so let's just select hell yeah how yes I love how yes let's vote and when we click on the vote we can see the results so yeah around 42 percent for how yes 40 percent for agree neutral and disagree and hell no basically there's no change in the ranking system it's still the same around there so this is my web pages as you can see this is the wish card and all the things very uh, very sexy web page so if you want to learn how to make these web pages today I'm going to show you how basically I'm going to uh, go through the uh, the random steps not really the detailed steps but a, a overhead view on how you can build this website even if you don't know HTML uh, code uh, so let's begin so the first thing you're going to know how to build a website is that you must learn that when you build a website you can't do everything by yourself because uh, when you host like you need someone to host for you and then uh, you need to purchase a, uh, the host so it will be made much easier because you don't need to buy the, all the hardware all the servers to host your website and then uh, you waste a lot of electricity if you open your server like 24 hours especially in my humid country if you don't have a cold office with an aircon you need to turn on the aircon to keep the, the machine cold and all the things so there's no way 
a person like me can do a website and host a website and do a website all by myself there's no way in another way that you need another person you need to spend some money either you know spend some money to buy some computer there's no way 100% there's, you're not going to do this for free so here's what I did okay I uh, purchased a hosting plan the hosting plan I tried to find the cheapest I can find okay probably you can, you can get like a good hosting e-commerce plans try to find the cheapest plan and when I found the cheapest plan I you know yeah try to use a ser use a server and uh, the thing is um, remember not to um, learn any kind of uh, software that tells you that you can build a website because no matter what kind of software you use right in the end it will depend on the uh, software on the server because you can only use the software on the server to build a website so that is the end part so whatever other software that other people might have used like for example flash or front page or microsoft um, I don't know some kind of uh, Dreamweaver or some something like that. No matter what kind of software that you are using, it will make no sense because ultimately you'll be uh, forced to use a software that the server has. And if the server, uh, if the server do not have such a software, it'll be very difficult to to use. So the Dreamweaver and other things like Flash are only parts of the elements of the softwares that you can add on. So in the end, um, uh, you would still need to use uh, like um, other, um, how to say, the, the actual software on the servers offered by the hosting plan. Yeah, that is what you need to do. That's the first thing you uh, need to do. You need to know. The second thing is that um, when you have uh, like uh, get a software from a server, yeah, uh, you need a template. That's the second thing. Um, so you need a template for your website, and and it's impossible for someone like me who doesn't know any freaking HTML code to build a template from scratch. Okay, so it's best that you buy the template from another pro. I bought mine from. <coughs> um, sorry, I bought mine from a guy from India, and um. <coughs> mm, okay, sorry. Can you hold? Can you guys hold on a minute while I drink something? Can you hold on? Ah, this is good. Okay, like I was saying, that uh, you cannot uh, just um, uh, build something on everything on your own. And the second thing is that you need a template. So the the template is that I, I what I did is I I bought a template from this guy from India, and he offered me quite cheap. So he I set up my own template. You must learn how to install. It. So the they, they will come to the third part, the third part where you need your brain, because in order to edit all of this and without the knowledge of any HTML code, any website building knowledge, without any potential to build any website, you you need to have a lot of brain power, and a lot of time, unless you want someone else to do a website for you. An e-commerce website like this that I'm showing you right now is around um, two thousand six hundred dollars. Uh, just on set up alone initially and perhaps when you sell this website you can uh, offer maybe 10,000 to 1 million depending on the traffic 1 million above depending on the traffic if you have a lot of traffic for this website so um, you need to have a lot of brain power and for me I only know the two HTML code that have guided me uh, to edit this website the only, need, the only code that you need to know is open and closed you need to find a code where it tells you to open you need to find a code where it tells you to close and you need to google the code that make the changes and then you copy and paste the code inside um, the the HTML code format and of course there are multiple steps multiple steps to do um, uh, okay let's go to the OT so I can show you what I mean there's a lot of uh, block thing. Okay, let's see. That's the most easy part is to embattle uh, the video. Okay, the computer is a little bit heat up right now. I think the most difficult difficult part for me is to do a customized new element where I add a name to the newsletter. So this is one of the most difficult thing uh, for me to do to add name for a newsletter and all those things. So as as uh, let's scroll down a little bit. Scroll now. Whoa, it's a huge lag. Huge. 
like so you can see, you can see that whole chunk of HTML code and there's step 1, step 2, step 3, step 4 and step 5 and uh, you need to follow, just Google and try out all the steps you need to be a scientist, you need to test the hypothesis of what you're thinking and then you need to uh, enter the code accordingly this is what I do when I add a customized few code customized few for my newsletter so that when people sign up for newsletter when they didn't use the contact form they just enter two elements and I can get you their name and their email so this is what happened okay so you need to know the open and close code so you know, know uh, where to put the code and you need to have some kind of logic you know uh, when you do the element for example if I have a include a new custom field called uh, yes name I need to make sure that, that all the code here that needs to be changed need to be changed to guest name so that's what happened oh okay so there is some kind of pop up pop up from uh, the blog so this is the WordPress that I have used so basically you only need a few skill you need to know open and close you need to know copy and paste and all those kind of uh, normal skills that you, you need to do when you're doing a website so this is uh, just a random guide basically a lot of problem solving techniques a uh, to to a lot of logical thinking to actually build a website like this so I, I encourage you guys to have a look at the website that I built and uh, so I'll see you in the next episode thank you for watching